Alright, well good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. And if I don't see you tomorrow, good night. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strange way of doing it. Uh, so we, throughout the course of the month, have filmed some home vlogs here and there and some things that we've done that have just kind of not made it into other videos. And so mm -hmm. we wanted to put them into one video so you guys could see like a hodgepodge of things that we've done throughout the month. Here are some things that we did. Yeah. So just some stuff that happened. Yeah, we're going to start the video out with, um, I went to get my hair done one day. It was the time before this time. I know my hair looks a little different right now than what you probably remember it looking like. So I went and dyed my hair. I dyed it actually red. So if you watched any of the recent, like the couple, the last couple of videos, my hair was more red than you probably remember. Right. So it was that time that I got my hair done. Tim went to take Jackson to the science center. Yeah, it was, was daddy and buddy time at the science center. Yeah, while I was at my appointment. And so that is what you will be seeing right now. We had a good time. It was uh, very sciencey. Yeah, Jackson had, uh, he always has a lot of fun at the science center. And we're annual pass holders there. So it's always fun to just like go and pop in and see what's new. They always have traveling exhibits and... So yeah, so that's what they did. Good morning. Today, little buddy and I are headed out to the science center. We're gonna do some science, buddy. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to? What do you want to do at the science center? Do what? Oh, we're going to the museum. That's right. So the science center does have like specific areas for kids. Like there's a toddler town specific for his size and there's a kids town specific for kids i think some of the stuff in kids town he can do too so let's go check it out there's also a traveling exhibit there about like future technology i think I i'm pretty excited to go all right here we are we are at the orlando science center and we are members here so we just go and we check in yeah so let's head in we're gonna go to the bathroom first buddy but we're gonna head in here to kids town and then we'll go to toddler town because you're a toddler right Ooh, the orange grove that could happen too first stop toddler town sorry it's pretty loud in here because there is an air like exhibit where you can play with scarves and stuff over yonder Are you putting the balls in there buddy yeah. put it in there nice work it's so funny to see the things that will draw his attention because there's a ton of other things to do in here but he's just getting the purple balls or red reddish purple balls and putting them in these tubes so he's like kind of jumping around on stuff too but like this is his favorite thing to come back to jackson has asked to go to the water play area and we put a smock on him look at the size of this thing on him look at this jackson watch spinning it buddy well you spin this wheel and that causes water to go up and then all the way down here and then it fills this up and then it rains down you went all the way through go back under he tried to crawl and go in there, and he went from here all the way over. Yeah, go again, buddy. Crawl back under. He's like, can I go in there? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then he finally did it. Now he's like, I'm done. Keep pushing it in. You want my help? A little bit of push and help. All right, you ready? Here it goes. Here it goes. Step back. Look up. There it is. Yeah. Okay, here it goes. Hold on to it. And let go. Oh, this one. Good catch. Nice work, bud. Oh, we're gonna build something with the big blocks now. I don't know what. Nice work, bud. Keep doing it. Yeah, I like it. He is an architect. Found another spot with loud noises and vacuum hoses. So basically they take the yellow balls and they put them in down here and they shoot up this tube to the upper level of this play area and there are kids up there that'll pick them up and put them in this Plinko machine or maybe the other zigzag to come back down. And now we're on the inside and Jackson is swinging from vines. Now we're on the other end of it, we're on the top, sending balls back down. A little bit quieter up here. We're in it now. All right, where are we going to? Oh man, are we doing this? Oh goodness, we're doing it, I think. You wanna go up there? 
Yeah, sure. Let's go. So I thought that my knee was better after slipping on the banana peel. That uh, that play area it says otherwise. We stepped out to go to the bathroom, and it is wild how much calmer the rest of the science center is than inside a kid's town. We'll stop by this exhibit on the way out. Now right, we're gonna head into an area called the Orange Grove, and just kinda, it's like a like a packing plant celebrating. Florida's history of orange growing. So they have these little orange trees over here that they can pick the oranges from and then they bring them throughout the rest of the exhibit. Like take for instance Jackson's throwing them in here into this bike and then they will pedal the bike and it'll go up and it'll fill the tower and then after a little bit the tower will drop all the balls and all the oranges on everybody. Right here these pedals. Pedal them. Are they too big for you? Can you do it? You're almost doing it. Keep going, bud. Keep going. Look. Oh, they're on their way up. Yeah, you're doing good. Well, the alarm is sounding. There they go. They all fall out. And there's a farmer's market here where you can get different fruits and vegetables. There are like so many things for kids to do in this area. Like he's going to put one of the oranges, these are called oranges, they're just balls, in the dryer. And then it spins around and then it dumps it out. Whoa! So now we are headed in for lunch, which is at a place called Four Roots Cafe, which is a concept that was like made up by John Rivers from Four Rivers. So we're all done with lunch. We didn't actually get anything at the cafe. We just ate food that we brought with us. And now we're going into the elevator. It's almost time for us to go. So we're gonna do one more thing. Maybe stop by the traveling exhibit real quick and see what it's all about. Yeah, and then we'll get in the car and go home. Well, this is kind of neat. It has dual HEPA filtration and dual UVC germicidal filtration inside of the elevator. So let's head into Science Fiction Science Future, the traveling exhibit. Let's see what kind of interesting stuff we find in here. Ooh, a hologram. I like that. That's fun and exciting. Wow. Push the button, buddy. See what happens. Whoa. Look at that. Wow, I like it. it. Doesn't look 3D to you guys, but it looks 3D to me. He ran over to Mindball. I don't know if you guys have ever played Mindball before, but you, basically you put this like thing on your head and you think about winning and it works. It's inside of the game, buddy. It's a behind the glass. We can't get to it. Do you want to put the thing on your head and we'll see who wins? Let's see if this works. And I couldn't do it because the thing was too big for his head. So, all right, buddy, let's try a new one. Invisible me, walk towards the screen. Okay, there's me. Uh-oh. Look, I've gone invisible. Ooh. Look, you can still see my arms. But I'm invisible. There's Jackson's head. Back up, buddy, back up. See, look, there you are. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. Back up, back up. Look, there you are. Now walk forward. Oh, you disappeared. Whoa. All right, last time we came here, this was Jackson's absolutely favorite thing. It was the Bernoulli table. There you go, you did it, you did it. Nice work. It's pretty wild coming here with him because he doesn't, like he, I don't know. Everything's new and like flashy and there's a lot of stuff to see. So he just kind of keeps going from table to table to exhibit to exhibit. Not really time to like explain what's going on in the exhibit to him. I know that that'll change when he gets older, but I just thought it was interesting. Whoa. Yeah, Jacob's ladder, bud. High voltage. Keep turning it, buddy, keep turning it. So we're doing a ring launcher. And you have to try to build up voltage in these capacitors. So I think that this works very similar to the way that roller coasters launch in the parks. So now, Jackson, you see that green button? Right here, this green button. Whoa! We launched it. On the way out, we stopped in the gift shop. Oh, look at this dinosaur backpacker bag. What'd you find, some balls? Oh yeah. Uh, these are the planets, buddy. Look at this, this one's Earth. Like squishy balls. I forgot that being a kid is like this. He goes, can I have one of these? And I'm like, you don't even know what that does. Let's see, can you figure it out? What does it do? How does it work, buddy? Well, almost, look up here. I think it might be a little bit too big for you, bud. Maybe when you get a little bit older, then you can do it. 
Yeah, looking good though. Nice work. I do think that the Science Center has the coolest shirts. Like, I love this one. Uh, it's a, such a cool shirt. This one's awesome too. That one. What is it? Oh, they're like dinosaur cars. Wow. Oh, side note, the Science Center does have chargers for electric cars. Let's see if it tells me how much it cost me just then. 78 cents for three hours. Nice. All right, so it's working. Just to let everybody know, we told Jackson if he wants to ride more roller coasters, like the brown roller coasters, which he calls Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, he has to eat his vegetables. And so guess what he's doing? <laughs> he oh, has God. he has a secret. They just all go in his pouch. Right? <laughs> no, no. You don't like it? It was too big? <laughs> oh, you had two of them in your mouth, that's why. You eating a carrot? Wow. That face, do you not like it? Yeah. You do like it? <laughs> Us for dinner, we are having apricot glazed seitan with... Sticky speckled rice and crispy. <laughs> no. What was it? No. Crispy seitan. It's apricot glazed crispy seitan with quinoa speckled rice and green beans and carrots. Okay. There's quinoa in this? Yeah, that's the, bra the black stuff. Oh, okay. It's speckled with quinoa. Yeah. Nice. We've had this before and it's delicious. So we hope that you enjoyed that little. Taste of the Science Center. Oh, and then we also showed them what we had for dinner that night. Oh, yeah. and it was delicious. It was. From what I can remember, it was I so long ago. I don't know what it was. What was it? <laughs> it was apricot. That seitan. was really good. It actually I really liked was. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also wanted to mention so, with the Science Center, we really enjoy the Science Center, but it's also a great place if you're here on vacation and it's raining, which we're coming into rainy season. It's going to be raining a lot. It's a great rainy day thing to do because it's all inside. Right. And um, it's fairly reasonably priced too. So I don't know, just something to think about. Yeah. But now, uh, and the few days later, what's happening? We had some friends come. We had and, some friends come into town. And we, it's some friends from high school. We haven't seen them in so long. So At we met least them. three. <laughs> three what? Anything. <laughs> yeah. So three. it's been probably like over three years. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we went to Sanford, which we love Sanford, Florida. It's in North Florida, and it's um, the home to one of our favorite German restaurants. I think our favorite German restaurant. Yeah, and... it's the only one. <laughs> yeah. Not the only German restaurant, but it's our only favorite one. I don't think I've ever been to another German restaurant. I've been to the one at Epcot, and this one blows that one out of the oh, water. Oh, I forgot about that one, yeah. So yeah, so this one is definitely more, um, it feels more like homemade, less theme parky because it's not in a theme yeah. park. But yeah, the food was great. So we headed to Sanford to meet them, had a delicious dinner, but we didn't show dinner. Didn't show dinner because we get, what happens is I get distracted by friends. Well, I just, it wasn't something to really be filmed, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, it was more like we were just hanging out with them. But we did film like the before, like waiting for everybody. The before time. <laughs> yeah. So we actually found some fun stuff for um, the Crispy S'mores new little babes. So oh, we yeah. found some stuff for them, which was exciting. And we tried some ice cream. So, and it was delicious. Yeah, so tune in. That's that's my line and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Stay tuned it was for that. delicious. Good afternoon from Sanford, Florida. This is a place that we enjoy coming. Number one, our favorite German restaurant is here. And number two, there's a lot of really interesting things out and about in downtown Sanford. So we do a little bit of exploring. We're meeting some old friends from high school uh, for dinner. Yeah, this is actually really exciting because some of these people we haven't seen. Well, one of our friends, we actually, the last time we saw him was when we went to Japan. And he just so happened to be there at the same time we were. So the last time we saw him was in Japan. Right. So it's been a while. So yeah, so we're but meeting up with a bunch of people. Another thing I wanted to mention is that when you come to Sanford, like the city of Sanford, they have a name for it. They what call it, it Sanfording. Sanfording. We're yeah, going to go so Sanfording tonight. That, yeah, that's literally what the city of Sanford like has the hashtag. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, and then there's a shop here that I want to check also, out. Also, this area of town is called Orlando North. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a little shop here too that I wanted to get some stuff for some other friends that live out of state. Let's do it. First place we're going to stop is this store called Magpies. Kind of like a kitschy store that sells all kinds of interesting little knickknacks and trinkets and stuff like that. Vintage tea towel maps, Florida stuff, Sanford notebooks. Yeah, I like this. Someone in Florida loves me. Perfect. 
for your baby, you can get them my first pocket knife. Also, this is the flagship store of the Wonder Made Marshmallow. They do have a, uh, like a, what do you call that? Like a booth, a kiosk, oh, like a kiosk in, in Disney, Disney Springs. Springs. Yeah, and this is like the original, so this is pretty cool. Yeah. Also, I wanted to mention that we found some cute stuff for Steffi and Dave's baby. Oh, yeah. Crispy S'mores, if you don't know who they are. I'm sure you guys do, but um, they just had twins. Yeah. And we found some stuff for them, so very exciting. I like it. I feel like what's better than like chocolate or maybe some ice cream before dinner. They also do s'mores right here. Like they cook you up s'mores with this little burner and everything. You know, so you can just buy marshmallows, of course, because it is a marshmallow store. <laughs> you get fireball marshmallows. Right? That sounds like it probably wouldn't be very fun to eat. No. Cherry um, cake marshmallows sound wild though. I will say, I don't see them anymore, but they had, they used, oh these, these are really good, the key lime pie. Yeah. Those are really nice. Also, rosé sounds interesting as well. Mint chocolate chip sounds delicious. Ooh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see these things, but these are called s'moresicles. It's half marshmallow and then half chocolate pudding pop. And they'll toast it, and it's got graham crackers on it too. It sounds amazing. Sorry, we just had a friend yell at us from the car. And we're like, Who is, what is it? What's happening? <laughs> okay, so. We got some ice cream. Oh yeah. Now he's gonna know that we got ice cream before dinner. No, it's okay. Well, I would have told him anyways. <laughs> so this is, I got coffee chocolate. This is so good. I got, uh, what did I get? I peanut got butter. peanut butter cup and, and cookie dough. Mm -hmm. and so we were Two talking. different flavors. I only got one. I'm not, I'm not as adventurous with my ice cream. Although, they did have a flavor that was waffles and syrup and I thought I would put those together and it would just be like a breakfast. Oh, like coffee and mm -hmm. chocolate and waffles and syrup. Yeah. It sounds amazing. Right? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. So I was just talking to Tim because we're going to the German restaurant and one of my favorite things used to be you could get a boot and like do, you know, you do the boot around the table of like the beer. Yeah. I wonder if they still do that with COVID. I don't know. Yeah, so I was kind of curious. I feel like if, if, you, if you request it, yeah. you're taking on the onus. You're probably right. The, the COVID onus. Covonus. I don't like that. <laughs> so this Treehouse Antique Store, I think this is the one that had all kinds of Disney stuff in it. Because they're closed today. Yeah. Is this the one? I think so. I'll link the video where we went, I think here, and we found some really neat, just like super retro Disney merch. But I was hoping that we could check this out before we went to dinner, but we can't. <laughs> like, so like this four. Maya Books actually yeah. used to be across the street and the German restaurant bought it out and they moved over here. But this place was great because they like sell all kinds of fun books and they sell vinyl and stuff like that But they're not open today. They're like sorry. We're closed on Tuesdays Also, they have like for anybody that needs it or that is interested. They have a, bo a box of free things out here So like you could There's some free magazines and sometimes they put books out there fun fact when me and Jen first started talking about buying a house We were actually going to buy a houseboat And live out here. We didn't but Man, I like telling that story. It's like it's like a, a dream, you know, like I would like to be that person that buys a houseboat and that was your first house was a houseboat living out on the river out here. You kind of feel like you're Matthew McConaughey or something, you know, like living in nature. Either that or I'd like to be the guy that owns the spider pig boat. Oh, Compass Rose looks awesome though. Man, I could see myself getting into boats. I know that boats are a bad idea to get into because everybody always says a boat is what is like a hole that floats or the money pit that floats or something like that. A hole in the ocean that you throw money into? Speaking of houseboats, <laughs> a place that you can see boats is at Disney Springs. Ooh, look at that transition. That was good. I felt that was a pretty good transition. So in these next few clips, we're going to head to Disney Springs and we're going to meet up with another friend. Different friend. Yeah, down from Canada. Yeah. And we wanted to meet up with her and have some brunch. However, it was like a last minute thing, so we did not make a reservation. Right, and brunch is hard to get into. So uh, before brunch though, we do check out some other stores, we get to check out some other things, so here's that footage now. What are you doing, buddy? You starting out the video? Can you say hello? Say hello. good morning from Disney Springs. <laughs> good job. That's right, buddy, nice work. So we're here at Disney Springs. Do you know what we're doing? We're playing at Disney Springs here. <laughs> We're actually going to do some shopping because there's some new stuff in some of the stores and there's so, a few places that we haven't been before. Also, um, so Coach and Disney have a limited edition release together, which we want to check out some things. And then Sephora's having a sale right now. And we're meeting a friend for lunch as well. So many things, bud. There's a lot of stuff happening. So let's, let's go check it, it out. Yes. It is a Sunday today, so there are a lot of people out here. 
But the good news is a lot of the restaurants that are not normally open early, like Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill, is open. So we could even go there for lunch if we wanted to. Here's something that's new at Vera Bradley. They have the new Little Mermaid collection, which is like a Little Mermaid print on the Vera Bradley bag. And then, I've never seen this before, but they have Vera Bradley backpacks with Mickey ears, or mini ears, because there's a bow. Those are fun. Oh, and it's a Mickey Mouse print too. Kind of see Mickey in there. First stop, the Coach Store. All right, so here's a look at some of the merchandise. They have these totes. I like this like retro handbag right here. This one is Disney though, and I like this this strap. But like the, the actual bag itself is kind of plain, but I like the strap is very subtly Disney. And this looks like a pin, but it's not. It's like secured on there. And then the other side has some other, the pennant, and then opening 1971. And then we've got some hoodies here. some just like with the coach print and some embroidery on it two different sizes this one very subtly Disney is just this almost like a keychain on it a shirt got some slides I like these these I thought were gonna be a little bit bigger than they are but it's still nice. And they have this blue colors. There are some collections here. So take for instance this blue with the backpack and then the waist pack and then the duffel too. So what you would, I, I need it to be a little bit bigger, but you would wear it like this? Yeah. You're like a hipster, like a hip guy now. <laughs> I feel, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the, the like the straps, how they oh, look so vintage. That, yeah. But this duffel's not as big as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, they have a bigger waist pack. Got some some wallets. These little guys right here. I do like this like vintage guy here. You can just get like a keychain. A little bag here. A little what is this like a crossbody and this is a clutch? Look at this bag. This one's big. I don't think I've seen this bag. This is really cool. Yeah, and you can kind of see the size of the duffel here on this mannequin. So after we showed off the waist pack, you, like I said, there are collections, like the blue collection, and then there is a yellow and a white collection. There is a waist pack in the yellow collection that has this color of band on it, which I really like a lot. So we might, they don't have it in right now. We might check back later in the season and see if it shows up. Jackson really likes. I did find out that the keychain doesn't come with these purses. That's a, a separate purchase that you can make. What do you put in here? Um, sanitizer? That's very little. Maybe it's a little sanitizer. Okay. Maybe your key, like a key fob, might fit in there? Oh, okay. You never know. Right. Yeah, I think that's everything in here, though, for the Disney collection. And I like the decorations around here. Where are you guys running to? I wonder where he gets his run from. <laughs> Oh wait, we need to go to Sephora because they're having a sale right now. Can you come into Sephora with mommy? Oh, no. Okay. So we did get some stuff at Sephora. Sorry I didn't show you anything inside of Sephora. This one, inside of a makeup store, is like a kid in a candy shop. Oh my gosh. There is an elevator. His hands. He was right? just like, all his fingers were in all of the eyeshadows. Oh yeah. There is an elevator, but we're gonna go That's a secret right? elevator. You're not even supposed to know about that elevator, buddy. No, we, we can't. We have to buy DVC, I think, to use that elevator. So even though it is Sunday, we're gonna check over at Boathouse to see if there's any tables available for brunch. But we're gonna watch this Amphicar drive out into the water. All right, buddy. Here they go. Should we tell them to stop? They're gonna drive into the water, buddy. Say there's no road there. Where are they going? They're going into the water. How, what are they doing that for? Oh no! Oh, it floats. Look, buddy. That car is floating away. 
How did they do that? All right, so as I suspected, there was no seats available at Boathouse, especially outside. So we're passing by STK and they also have a brunch, so we might stop off here. Let's have a look at the menu real quick. I love a Benedict, so we might end up with that pork belly Benedict. I also have a burger, like a breakfast burger. Right? I think it's a burger. All right, so we ordered the mac and cheese, the traditional mac and cheese. This was $18. And then we also ordered the tater tots. These are also $18. Holy cow, I didn't know these were $18 a piece. Like, I just want to show you. These are huge. Like, wow. They do have a live sax player. That's, that's what sets STK apart. Yeah. The live saxophone. I think he's playing to a live DJ too. Oh, is he? Maybe I'll have to look inside. They also have the wedge salad that they so graciously cut up out of being a wedge. No way. All right, so uh, the food was taking a, a while to come out, and we had an appointment at Coach to get Jackson's caricature drawn. So I'm taking Jackson over and I just got my burger to go and Jen is staying and eating with a friend of ours. Definitely, definitely busy here on a Sunday. So I know that some of that coach stuff is kind of old news, like it's been out for a little bit. Oh yeah. But this is the, this is the, the video where we show the entire collection in its entirety. Yeah, so we wanted to leave it in just in case you hadn't seen like a detailed look at it. I know we, we've even showed it smaller portions of it in other videos. Yeah. But this was a, a good look at it, um, more a more detailed look at it. So, and it's still for sale currently. So it's that's- It's kind of all over the place. Yeah, that's kind of why we left it in though. So you could check it out if you haven't seen it in a more detailed look at it. So there's that. Uh, we also went to, Sephora was great. The sale was wonderful. Boy, oh boy. And then you got more stuff than I did at I Sephora. Did. So I don't got, even- I got hairspray and I got face wash. Yeah. You act like you didn't buy some Oh, and stuff. I got some sunscreen for my face. You, I bought one thing, you bought three things. So that well, was a trip is. for you, it not was for a, me. It was a great sale. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm a VIB member. No, I am. Somebody is. It's me. Yeah, very important beauty. Mm -hmm. But we did head to, uh, well, we first we headed to the boathouse. We thought maybe we'd be able to get a reservation, but we couldn't get one there. It's pretty, it's pretty jam-packed on a Sunday. Yeah. So we were walking by STK. You know STK. where isn't jam-packed on a Sunday? STK. And I can tell you why, because it's so loud. It's, it is, it is not conducive to any sort of conversation. And it, it makes sense for like if you're going out to do some dancing or if you're going to just watch a show, like loud music is okay. I think it's more for people who want to go to brunch and drink. Yeah. Because that's really like the vibe. The vibe was like, do you want bottomless mimosas? Do you want bottomless Bloody Marys? Here's some really loud club music. So I don't- And a saxophone. He was actually real. I liked him. He did a good job. I really enjoyed like that whole, that, that was cool. Yeah. But the food was not great. Um, the service was like kind of spotty. And it was like just way too loud. So I know now why nobody eats there. Right. But, um, right. So I don't, me personally, I don't recommend it. It's just not my. Yeah, we've eaten, we've tried it like probably three times now. Mm -hmm. And never have we come out of there going, man, I'm glad we ate at SDK. Yeah, and it's super expensive for what it is. So. Yeah. Um, Except for that burger. The burger was like only ten dollars. Yeah, but other everything else was was very a lot of money. I also don't think I showed you, but I'm gonna put in a picture here of the food that I got and the food that I think I think I took a picture of your food as well. Oh. Possibly our friend's food. I'm not sure, but it's up here if you want to check it out. But yeah, so personally, I don't recommend SDK. There are better places to have brunch, but I am happy that they had a table for us to eat at. So right. you know. So there you have it. That was our hodgepodge of videos accrued a across the past month. <laughs> yeah. I felt like that was the biggest tongue twister that I've ever said. And it, none of it <laughs> rhymed or had the same letters or anything. It's just but hard we, for me to say. But we had a lot of fun. Uh, Science Center was fun. Disney Springs was fun. Sanford was fun. So we hope that you guys enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so, guys for hanging out with us. All in all, it was a fantastic month. <laughs> yeah. And with that being said, we are off. 
We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.